Today's active self-protection lesson is made possible thanks to the generosity of sponsors like LuckyGunner.com. Please check out Lucky Gunner for all your ammunition needs. Okay, so we've never actually put the 5Ds plus one on an extra video, and uh, we're here at SWAT Ministries uh, training, so I thought we'd try to record it and have some fun with it. So, uh, first of all, uh, 5Ds plus one is not dogma. And this is not, I have people all the time to say, well, John, you're never gonna think about that stuff when somebody attacks you. And I go, of course you're not. You're thinking about somebody trying to kill you. But this is why we do this stuff on the mat, right? So we do this stuff here, so then that way we can feel it and work with it and work in the four stages of work together, right? We work from cooperation to collaboration, competition, combat. So then that way we can feel how it goes. So then that way, if it ever, God forbid, happens to us on the streets, we're ready for it. So what are the five Ds plus one? Well, right now we have these little training knives, okay? So right now we're working against training knives. We'll probably add some more as we work towards bats, machetes, firearms, those kinds of things, okay? And the first D is the plus one, and it is distance. So if he has a knife, thinking about this, y'all, what? where is his preferred distance? Where does he want to be? Yes. He wants to be where he can stick that knife in. It is only, the range of this knife is only... The short one is four inches past the end of his hand. It is a very short range tool. So where would I like to be in defending against said knife? I'd like to be much far. <laughs> I would rather be way out of range. But of course, if I can't get out of a fight, then I gotta get into a fight, right? Then I gotta really dive into it. So I, I have a very hard time getting uh, on the other side of this tool. So there's no too close in a knife. Because any time he puts that knife on me, it's gonna hurt me. So there's no too close. Whereas with a bat, even with a machete, with a firearm, I can get inside the range where the tool's not gonna be effective, okay? But against the knife, I really can't. So I really, the only thing I can do is keep this knife out of my range, out of the way of hurting me, okay? That's the first one in the plus one, is to control distance. If I don't control distance, I don't care what else is going on. I could be freaking wailing the tune on him, and if I'm not controlling distance here, he is stabbing me and I'm leaking and I'm dying, right? So then once I control distance, now I work to the five Ds proper. First thing I have to do is deflect. Now that's coming, and if I don't deflect that, it's gonna, it's gonna stick me. So I don't have to stop it. Now I can stop it in a deflect. That's okay, that's a strategy, right? But again, if that's coming and I simply go, and it comes and I go, nope, there it is, and I dive in here. Now, I'm not trying to play martial arts games and tell you that's what the right thing to do is. But if I simply deflect this and it goes right on past, have I been hurt by this knife? No, I have safety for how long, Sam? Just as long as it takes you to pull back and do it again. Not very long. So deflect is momentary. It has to be bang, right now, okay? And that's gonna be the same on every tool that we look at when we're defending. Right? But if I don't then go to the next one and dominate, it's coming back and we're resetting, but I've given him a piece of information. I only get so many times through this cycle before he will start getting wise. What I find is, what, what I find on the, real, on the narrative videos is what happens all the time is, is I come through the first time and he blocks with a bicep or whatever. I come through the second time, he does the same thing. The third time, he goes back forward and I come over the top and hit him with something. It goes, it goes one, two, maybe three, now we're gonna do something else. So I've only got a couple of opportunities. So maybe that first one goes, ah! and, uh, and then the second one, I go, no, it's go time. So as it comes, I, I might come around, but I have to dominate this tool with whatever it is I'm gonna do. I have to dominate. The worst, the, the least positive choice is to dominate the tool itself. So if he had a gun in his hand and I grabbed the gun. Obviously I wouldn't want to grab the blade. Bad day for me, okay? So next best from there, hand. The hand with the tool on it is very important because this is the hand that he's using, okay? Better than that, forearm. Better than that, whole arm. Because if I can dominate this whole arm, he's gonna have a hard time using it, okay? Now of course, best of that, whole person. <laughs> If I somehow have magic, quick, you know, brachial stun, flash, knockout, I win, okay? But I have to then, once I've controlled the distance, once I've kept it from hurting me, you no, know I have to dominate this. Now, you notice here I'm just choosing a wrist tie, all right? Now, that might be, we've been working so far on a bicep tie here, right? And then there it comes, and I grab a hold, okay, fine. Now, how long is it going to take him to figure out something to do with this? I mean, yeah, a bit, right? A second or two, because he's going to try to muscle it out of there, because bad guys have this tendency. We do too. The second I put a tool in my hand, 
me two user. Me have two. Me use two. Instead of, okay, wait a minute. I have other tool. <laughs> we don't think about it. We have this thing in our hand. So the next thing I have to do is distract. I gotta give him something else to think about other than holding on to that tool, other than taking that tool away from him. Best way, what do you think best way to distract someone, John? In the middle of a fight. Yeah. Yeah. Hurt him and break things. Yeah. Right? Hurt him and break things is the way that we do that every time. So if it's coming and I can't, I see it, there it is. Okay, I've got it. Now, we're working, I've been working a strategy here where we're getting a positional dominance here of his whole arm using my head. And all I'm doing is just snuggling up inside here. Now, can I pull a billy goat and you know use his cheekbone, push him away, all those kind of things? He's taller than I am. I'm probably not going to do that here. When I have somebody that's maybe shorter than me that's attacking me with a knife, it might work a little bit better in that instance. Hey, I'm heavier than you are so that I can do those things. Fat jokes. Um, you know, we can move from there. Okay, fine. But once I've dominated, now i got to distract. Okay, so how am I distracting him from here if I'm really holding on to this? What do I got? We think, yes. Yeah, how am I distracting him? These. Yeah, I got these things here. If I if I really bang and drag, drive that through his thigh, get that big old nasty Charlie horse and drive his face off, am I doing something? Sure. Or again, maybe I've got to come from this and go, okay, fine, let that bit go and come here, bang, and whack him here as I'm still holding on for a second, whatever. Once I've distracted him, now I've got to get this tool out of his hand. I've got to do something to get this away from him uh, or gain space where I'm out of contact with him, right? So really, it's not about necessarily taking the tool away from him. It's about getting myself to safety. Okay? So disarm can also be with distance. And then I, if, if I'm going to get that away again, okay, here we go. Bang. I do these things. Whatever. I'm coming this way. I've got this around. Great. I've got this here. This, I could peel this out of him. I'm distracting him. Whatever. Now i got to keep him from being able to hurt me again. And that's the disable. Now, by disabled, we don't mean put him in the hospital necessarily. Although he just tagged me with a knife. I don't care where he's going at that point. It's a deadly threat. Do whatever I have to in order that he can't reattack me. Make sense? That's where the five D's plus one come in. So then, as we start working on technique against knife, technique against bat, technique against machete, technique against firearm, technique against out carry throwing rocks at you or whatever, I start thinking I'm not armed. My gun is not in the fight. My knife's not in the fight. My bat's not in the fight. But I gotta fight with what I got right here. Oh shoot, now I gotta work through this system and I only have splits to get through it. So that's why we're working on the map. So as you're seeing us do it today, and as you're seeing us do it this week, that's why we're working the 5Ds plus one.